Christmas markets. From late November until Christmas or even until the end of the year, there are more than 2500 Christmas markets opening throughout Germany. To forget about dark days and freezing temperatures, going to a Christmas market might be every German's favorite thing to do at this time. But what is so great about these markets you might ask? Well, maybe it is the highly encouraging culture of drinking hot alcoholic beverages starting around noon for every day of the week. What's up everybody, my name is Tipsy D. <laughs> Seriously, this is kind of a family place, but at the same time the year's best excuse for everybody to get daytime or evening wasted without being considered strange or inappropriate. But aside from drinking, there's also plenty of amazing seasonal food and in this video we are taking you on a food tour and introducing you to must-eat food and dishes at a German Christmas market. Hello, ich hätte gerne eine roter Glühwein, bitte. Yeah. All right, it's Christmas time, which of course means blue vine season. Blue vine is just mulled wine with some spices in there and it tastes so good. And just the smell reminds me of Christmas here in Germany. Oh, yes, it tastes like alcohol. Yes, you're right. You kind of need to start every German Christmas market with a Glühwein because that's the main reason the Germans and everybody here comes to the markets to just like get your warm drinks on and uh, it definitely helps with this cool time of the year. This was a four euros for the Glühwein and then there's a three euro fund. So that means if you bring the cup back, you get your three euros back and we're going to do that. <laughs> So this thing here is called a Reibekuchen, at least in this area, in other German areas, it's just a Kartoffelpuffer and it's pretty hot. So it's basically made of this potato shreds, deep fried in this nice oily section over there. And then you have the choice of different toppings and we chose the Kräuterquark, which is like an herbal quark cream. And whoa, it's really hot. It is very common throughout Germany and very common at the Christmas markets. So here we go, let's try it. It's so nice, man. The outside is very crispy, as you might have just heard, and then the inside is super soft. Like, there's a big difference in consistency in the texture of this. And then the quark on top just gives it a nice contrast. Fried potato, just very good. Hmm, so good. One thing that is super common also across Germany is grilled champignons, grilled mushrooms. We have a very special version here. It's a version with chili cheese. Like they put cheddar cheese on top and then these jalapenos. They were also grilled with onions already. I hope they're gonna be amazing. Let's see how this is. So I'm gonna dig in here. I'm gonna try to get a jalapeno, jalapeno. and a mushroom. It's pretty saucy on the bottom actually. There we go, There's some melted cheddar cheese on top and we'll see how good that is. Ooh, they are spicy. Sometimes they taste like nothing, but these are actually have a good kick to it. It's fairly saucy and the sauce on the bottom, I don't know if you can see this here. It's like a typical gravy sauce. So that mellows the, the spice down a little bit. Overall, grilled mushrooms are very good. Chili cheese, I would say only go for a version like this if you're really into that chili cheese taste. There are so many options at these markets and we can definitely recommend getting a potato twister which is a big potato cut into a spiral form then deep fried and topped with flavorful powders. Or you might want to look for a langosch. This deep fried flatbread comes from Hungary but is a staple at German Christmas markets and toppings range from just sugar to sour cream, cheese or bacon variations. If you are more into the surf than the turf, another popular and healthier option is Flammlux, which is a Finnish style salmon that is cooked right there on open fire and then served in big pieces or as a sandwich. All right, so we have raclette, which is a very popular thing to get at a market here in Germany. So we have a nice toasty bread here. You get the choice of garlic butter or kräuter butter, which is like a spice butter, and uh, then cheese. You saw I'm scraping off that cheese, putting it on there. It's so fresh. Give it a try. Mm. I mean, bread, cheese, and garlic. What more do you want out of life? So good. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun. 
All right, so we ate a couple things, so we came back and got another drink because there are a lot of different drink variations, not just the red glue wine. This is an Apfel Quitten Punch, and uh, these have a little bit of a, what is it, diuretic effect on me. So, here we go. That's nice, definitely fruitier than the regular glue wine. Apple is just nice and warm, cold in any type of form, right? Fruit cake as a drink with some alcohol. It's the way to do it. They have a few of these little built sheds throughout the city. You can go in, it's nice and cozy, this wood feeling around you, and this apple thing, that's my stuff. It's so good. Düsseldorf is a little more spread out. They have different pockets of uh, Christmas market stalls, and this one has uh, a little more medieval feeling. There's a lot more wood. It's getting cooler, and uh, I really like it over here. One thing you cannot do, you can't go to a German Christmas market and not have a sausage. So there are different types of bratwurst, there's currywurst, all different kinds, Krakauer, uh, that's the kielbasa sausage. And we got half a meter of sausage in a baguette, cut in half because the baguette is too short, I guess. And uh, so it's two layers. And then you have the choice of mustard and ketchup. We got both on each side. And it's a very standard thing to eat a lot of sausage on any type of market or Christmas market in Germany. Mm. You have two wieners in there? Mm -hmm. Holy smokes! It's actually pretty thin wieners, but they're very flavorful, so I like it a lot. I can't tell which I like better, mustard or ketchup, but this is a classic. It's probably the classic, the bratwurst. Have you ever had two wieners in one bun? How many glue vines have you had? I feel like after a few glue vines, this always tastes so good. The more you drink, the better food tastes. Why is that? Mustard or ketchup? Mustard. This Christmas market in Düsseldorf feels very integrated into a polished city. But frankly, it could benefit from some activities like the medieval section in Hanover offers. We did axe throwing one year, shot crossbows the next, and one of our favorite things was an entire Christmas forest they built to hang out in. In Düsseldorf, on the other hand, they have an Armani Christmas cube. But to be fair, there's also an amazing ice skating ring and curling lanes. All right, so we came kind of to the main section of the Christmas market here in Düsseldorf. This is right at the northern end of the Kö, the Königsallee, the city center basically. And they have this ice skating ring on that side and then a bunch of stores with all kinds of food all around. And they actually built this huge wooden house here. It's a two-story huge cabin and they just made that for the Christmas market. And it looks pretty awesome here. This is probably my favorite section so far. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what else we can find. If you have more of a sweet tooth, you definitely came to the right place. Amongst the sweet must-tries are churros, chocolate glazed fruit, roasted almonds, candied apples, quarkbällchen or other types of fried dough and of course crabs. So we have this Mützen, uh, which I've never heard of that name before. I know it as Quarkbällchen. So it's this fried dough using quark in there and then topped with powdered sugar. It's very deep fried, it's very good and crispy. Let me just open this one up. Oh, look at that steam. This looks fluffy. All right. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, this one is really fresh, cakier than the ones I'm used to, which I really like. It's just like, it reminds me a little bit of funnel cake. It's awesome, I love it. The best place to be on the Christmas market, Five Guys. So we're in the heart of the old town right now and this is the Rathausplatz, I think. So it's the city hall square. We're very close to the river Rhine now. This is the most medieval looking part of the city. And of course, they have a couple of stands here too. Like Diana said earlier, there are like five or six different pockets of smaller Christmas markets. And uh, this one has a very nice backdrop. So we walked through the entire old town and we're right at the river Rhine now. So the city kind of ends here. And this is the Burgplatz, like the castle square 
One highlight here is they have this Ferris wheel and this was already up a couple weeks before they started the Christmas market, but it's gonna be here for the whole Christmas market and uh, it's very colorful and nice. All right, we got something I had to get, but it might not be super German Christmas marquee, but we saw this stall that had cheese döner kebabs, meaning instead of a the big skewer of meat they usually have, they had a big skewer of cheese and he scraped it off like they do with the meat and put it in the döner. You have three options, you could put salmon on top, you could put bacon on top and zucuk, which we have, and I think that is some type of Turkish sausage. Very cheesy thing, very heavy. Um, this thing was eight euros and I'm, as a leading German döner expert, actually worldwide, <laughs> just gonna see it, yeah, yeah. how good this thing is. The first bite is actually very good. And there's a lot of flavors in there. He has like peppers in there, tomatoes and uh, coleslaw, all stuff. And there's also carrots in there. I was a bit skeptical. I was thinking, let's do this for a joke, but it was very good. I love it, wow. It smells really good. We got the knoblauch sauce, the garlic sauce. There was also kräuter sauce so that you could get as well. Let's just give it a try. Dang, this is good. <laughs> I think this is a vegetarian option for a dinner because you could get it without the meat. The vegetables are just grilled. They're so nice. This is a pepper. I think the sauce is killing it. This is awesome. We stepped off of the market a little bit. It's raining, so we have some cover here. So we have Käsespätzle mit uh, Zwiebel, Rostzwiebeln. So this is on every single market, not just Christmas markets. I feel like, uh, you know, gourmet markets, any summer outdoor markets, you'll often find this in Germany. It's really cool. They had a machine that they dropped the noodles in there. They boiled them, then they put them on a pan and put cheese on it, mix it around till it melted and then added the roasted onions on top. Yeah, so it's kind of like the equivalent to mac and cheese in Germany, isn't it? Yeah, well, we'll see, we'll see. It is hot, it is steaming, it looks awesome. Let's go. It's nice, I like this one. There were a lot of options. There were some like Jaeger sauce, some cream sauce and stuff too. We did the cheese, which is the traditional option, and uh, it's so good. Mmm, shove it in there. Mmm. This year's theme here seemed to be a lot of cheese yeah, everywhere. I feel like cheese is everywhere this year. I like that we added the onions, gives it a crunchy texture in comparison to the rather soft noodles and cheese. I like it, it's good. Yeah, and it was a little extra for the onions, 50 cents, but worth it. All right, we got desserts. It started raining and we found shelter here at this Glühwein stand. We have a huge dump noodle, which is basically a steamed noodle or dumpling. And it's this huge dough ball. You can choose between different toppings. Everything has vanilla sauce, but then there's Nutella. There's a cherry sauce topping and different stuff, but we never had it, so I'm very curious. We just cut in here and it seems very fluffy doughy on the inside, so I'm not really sure what this is made out of. So first time dump noodle ever. Mm. It looks like an alien brain floating inside an open skull or something. Wow, what a great way to describe that. I expect it to be having a little bit more of a bow consistency, like a bow texture, but it's not. It's definitely drier, and I think you really need some sauce with it. Otherwise, it would just be like a big round piece of toast. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Every time we pass these things, I think it looks like a giant baozi, which is like a Chinese fill bun, but this is not filled with anything. So the sauce is uh, what's making the moisture, it looks like. It's just a dry bun. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's a bit mediocre. All right, we're gonna end it here. It's raining pretty heavily. And as you can see behind me, the rain cleared out a lot of people from the market as well. Let us know what your favorite food at a German Christmas market or Christmas market in general is. We're gonna finish or not finish this dumpling thing. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. See ya.